a non-rebuther mask provides the highest concentration of supplemental oxygen delivered in EMS. This mask is indicated for patients who exhibit any of the following signs or symptoms. Cyanosis, cool, clammy skin, shortness of breath, chest pain, severe injuries, altered mental status, or a pulse oximetry reading below 90%. The device delivers oxygen by an attached reservoir bag or connected to the mask with a one-way valve. The valve prevents the patient's exhaled air from mixing with the oxygen in the reservoir area. The mask also has rubber washers that cover the exhalation ports. These washers allow air to escape on exhalation but keeps oxygen continuously inside the mask. Should the oxygen supply fail, the design features an emergency port so that the patient can still take in atmospheric air. The liter flow for a non-rebreather should be between 12 and 15 liters. It should not be allowed to go below 12 liters. A non-rebreather mask will provide concentrations of oxygen ranging from 80 to 100% depending on liter flow. Here are the steps to follow in applying a non-rebreather mask. Take BSI precautions. Introduce yourself to the patient and explain the need for a non-rebreather mask. Attach the non-rebreather mask to the nipple of the oxygen regulator. Set the flow meter at 12 to 15 liters per minute. Allow the bag to fill completely. To inflate the reservoir bag, use your finger and the bag to cover the exhaust port or the connection between the mask and the reservoir. Position the mask over the patient's nose and mouth. Next, slip the elastic strap over the patient's head so that it rests above the patient's ear. Tighten the strap as needed. Watch the volume in the reservoir bag when the patient inhales from the mask. The bag should be at least half full. If this is not the case, the patient is over-breathing and you will need to increase the flow rate slightly. Most regulators will allow an increase in flow up to 25 liters per minute. Reassurance and encouragement will help reduce the claustrophobia sometimes associated with any oxygen mask. You might also have the patient hold the mask on his or her face, reducing claustrophobia even more.